Welcome back to Schellenberger Farm. This is Julie. Today we are going to be getting a chicken brooder ready. I have 25 chicks coming in the mail later, later this week. Uh, it's first, first time ordering them by mail, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I've ordered them from Cackle Hatchery. Um, they're not too far away from us, at least in the same state. So hopefully the little chicks will do just fine. Um, so I'll go pick them up later this week, but so I want to make sure while I have time this weekend to get this chicken brooder ready and everything's all set up and their home is good to go. So I'll just take you along and just show you uh, what I'm doing, uh, what we're using for the chicken brooder. And this is while they'll be inside in the barn. And then once they feather out a little bit um, and get a little bit older, we'll move them outside. Won't put them directly in with the other chickens just yet, uh, but I will put them in that red chicken tractor house that um, when I showed you in another video where the like coop is on the top and then there's a run underneath it. So we'll close them up in that and that will be in the same area as the other chickens so they can see each other through the hardware cloth. Um, and it also gives them a little more um, closed in area so to keep them a little warmer as well in there. So, all right, so I'll just take you along as I get this ready. Uh, shouldn't take too long. Um, we use a stock tank for the brooder. Um, and when it's not being used for a brooder, we can use it for other things around the farm. Um, but I got a little cleanup to do, so let's get going. I just like to use pine shading in here. Get this all spread out. I tell you what, I have a dust to clean this out once it gets, once it gets dirty. Um, I just take a dustpan or even um, a shovel, but usually it's a dust pan. They just stay in here with it. And I can just come in and scoop it out, do one section at a time. And it just goes straight in the compost. Okay. Then I just take a couple bricks and I set the water on top of the bricks. I'm going to grab that off the shelf. And then I have their little feeders that go in here too. And we'll put food in here when they get here. In the water. I won't put any water in here yet either. And it should stay warm enough in the barn that the water won't freeze. I won't have to worry about keeping that heated. And then I'm going to get couple uh, pieces of firewood and I put that in here kind of gets them used to let them get up and roost on things okay so we got two roosts in there we'll see how that goes and I got some logs in here so when they're so little they can get up on it and then they'll eventually they'll get up onto these then to keep them safe we have this cover we made fits on top of this and then we'll clamp it down and then the heat lamp sit on top of it. All right, so we're just about done with this. I'm going to have to move it over. We decided it's going to be easy to get to electrical over there, which is probably better. We'll get it further away from the hay. Be a blooper reel. 
here closer to electric. We've got our clamps. Bars and the logs that will work until they get a little bigger. We can put the light here, they'll stay nice and warm. And then if it gets too cold up here, I can also cover this and get a piece of wood and then also just for added security. Um, this is kind of bent up, so I'll get a heavier board to put on here. Whew, it's getting a little colder out here. I had to put the coat back on nose get a little red um, so anyway so that does it for this I'm gonna go give the chickens that hay and straw that I cleaned up but I appreciate you guys coming along and watching and supporting our channel mm -hmm.